Do you want a Skyblock mod that can give you free coins? Shows you the best cat flips, craft flips, gives you all the information you ever need to know on an item, and more? Well, here's Koffel, an insane flipping mod that has flown under the radar for way too long. This mod makes flipping effortless, even if you have never flipped before. And on top of that, the item price stats it gives is useful for lowballing and other things too. And this mod is also just really fun for some reason. Oh. Auto recon. <laughs> Wait, it's no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> so let me not keep you from making your billions any longer, because yes, a lot of these users do make billions every week, and let me show you how to download the mod. Go to the link in my description that says Koffel Mod, and once you click on that, go to the account tab. Your account tab should look different from mine. This is what it should look like after you're done signing up. But basically, you just have to sign in with an email address and make an account. It's very easy. Also, keep in mind that you will not start off with any Koffel coins, but you will get premium for three days once you download the mod and set everything up. So let's do that right now. Go over to the left side and click on the mod section. And this screen should pop up right here. The most important thing is you need a client or forge or something to be able to run the mod. So if you have forge or sky client or something along the lights of that, you'll be fine. And you can go down here to the download button then you simply click it the download button will take you to a github page 1.5.5 alpha unless they've updated it since then and then you can just go down here to call mod alpha dot jar whatever and just click that then it should start downloading it should not take long then go to your folder and go to the downloads tab and there it should be keep in mind this jar file should not be really large Okay, once you have this up on your screen go to your search bar and search up percentage app data percent and click enter. This will bring up a lot of folders, but the most important one you want is .minecraft. Now normally you would scroll down a bit and click on this folder that's mods, but since I use SkyClient, I'm going to click on the SkyClient folder and open that, and then go to the mods in there. Then simply take the Koffel mod jar file from your downloads and drag it over to your mod file and just drop it. I'm not going to do this since I already have it downloaded, but it's really simple. Once you drag the mod to the mod folder like I did here, you can close out on everything. If you want to get back to the website, just click the link in the description again and it'll take you back. Just know when you're downloading the mod, Minecraft needs to be closed. And when you boot Minecraft up from here, you can start setting up the mod. The first thing you're going to want to do once Koffel's ready is do slash Koffel start like I do here and it'll start a connection. Now it'll tell you what email your account is under, and it's going to ask you to verify that you are indeed yourself by bidding a certain amount, it's different for everyone, on a random auction. Just click on the click to verify by bidding, and just bid however much you're required to on a random item. It's pretty simple, and hopefully you won't have any difficulty doing this. And once you've done that, it'll register your verification bid, waiting for the Hypixel API to update, which happens every minute, so it should not take long. And if messages like these pop up, just click got it, or else they'll reappear. But I'd recommend looking at what they have to say first. The slash Koffel flip command toggles on whether it displays you flips or not. We'll get into that later along with the config. And as we're shown here, we receive three days of premium for verifying our Minecraft account. I'm going to click always AH flip. And as you can see here, we're already getting flips recommended to us, such as this razor sharp shark tooth necklace, which is going for 15 mil and you can sell it for 17.5 mil. And it's also recombobulated. That is just some information that the mod shows you whenever there's a flip. You can also go to the seller's AH by clicking on the seller's AH text. Here's another snipe that popped up and if we click on the name of the item it'll bring us directly to the items auction where you can see the item in all of its glory and you can purchase it if you please but keep in mind this mod can get very competitive. Once again I'm going to click got it so my chat's not flooded with random messages. Let's go on to another flip, the Builder's Wand. This is a 3 to 4 million coin flip that someone just got because of this mod. Very cool. All right, now that I've showed you the basics, let's go back to the website. Once again, the website's in the description down below. I was accidentally not logged in, so make sure you don't have this symbol at the top of your page and log in with your email. Okay, now that I'm actually logged in with my email, I can see all of my settings correctly on the item flipper tab on the mods website. We're going to click the import button and import a config that I have, which you can find in my discord link in the description down below. All right, let's go back in game now and Koffelnet is sending us messages that it looks like we've imported a config and boom, we're already getting flips. This flip is insane with 749% profit. So of course someone else took it. If we just look at this flip here, it's kind of insane. It's a recombed treasure talisman, and I assume he missed a zero when putting this up and sold it for really cheap. Here comes another flip, a mithril golem that I'm way too late on clicking, and look there's even a snail right here. Okay, moving on. I kept bringing this up. This is the first example where seller's AH works. If you click on that little text that says seller's AH, 
then surprisingly, you're brought to the seller's AH. Also, just a future note, on the auction house, this mod highlights things in green that are the best flips on the page. This does not mean that they are a good flip, it just means they're the best flip. And in this case, this is the only item on the page, so it's the best in the page. Back to the website once again, let's go over the mod settings. Flips in 10 seconds, you can check this on. This tells you in the chat when flips are about to come in, but the countdown displays red numbers on your screen and I recommend you disable it. I would also recommend play flip sound off because I don't like sounds in my ears, but that's just me. Moving on to the premium slash shop page. We have different types of premium, which is premium, premium plus, and starter premium, which all cost Koffel coins. Starter premium is pretty crap, but it is really cheap. Regular premium, however, is about 1,800 Koffel coins for a whole month. And for two months, who would have guessed it's double the price, but still very worth it. And for premium plus, we have one week being 1,800 Koffel coins, which is the same price as a month of premium, with the other options being one hour and one day, which just goes to show how good premium plus is. And now let me tell you how much Koffel coins actually cost. 1,800 Koffel coins will cost you around 9 US dollars or around 8.5 euros. That 5,400 Koffel coin option will get you three months of regular premium and three weeks of premium plus. There are other options to buy Koffel coins. Anyway, what features does spending money get you? There's four different versions, free, starter, premium, and premium plus. And every version gives you access to price history, bizarre data history, auction explorer, player auction history, display active auctions, price estimations in game, which is very useful to all players. And that's just for the free version alone. Starter and the rest of the versions have access to the top three cat flips, the top three craft flips, full access to flipper filters, filter player auctions, and you get to support the project. Most importantly, the owner is very nice guy. Premium and Premium Plus both have access to list of low supply items, priority feature requests, a Discord rule, longer flip tracking history, 120 max recent auctions, 100 max notifications, a green chat color, and most importantly the time to receive a flip, which for free people it's 40 seconds, and for premium users, it's a little bit over one second. And for premium plus users, it's actually under one second. And you're about to see why that matters in a little bit. Premium plus users get to look at buy speed and most profit leaderboard and replay flips. But most importantly is the average flip receive time, which is why premium plus is so much more worth it and a little bit more expensive. I mentioned cat flips earlier, so let me go to that tab now. And since I'm a premium user, since I just got the mod for the first time, I get access to the first three. So let me copy one of these bows by clicking on the icon and going back in game to Minecraft. Then you simply just control V and buy the pet. I actually already bought the pet and I didn't record it for some reason. Look here, it's in my inventory. So let's go over to cat, put our bow in, and hire cat. It'll cost around 1.5 mil and 100 yagis, which is worth like nothing. The biggest downside is it will take 10 days, which is very sad. Although you can use cat flowers, just make sure to calculate if you would still make profit. I went to the auction and looked at similar level bows once they're legendary, and they go for around 30 to 32 mil, which is crazy since I bought my bow for around 13 mil and it cost like 1.5 mil to upgrade. Something worth mentioning is the slash coffle stop command, which will turn the mod off, and the slash coffle start command that'll turn the mod back on. Those are there just in case you ever need them. Also, if you want your auction display to look like this, then do slash coffle set GUI TFM. If you're using Premium Plus, then make sure to switch your region to either the US or the EU, depending on where you live. I've been running the coffle mod for a little bit, you know, just for fun and stuff. I'm not even using Premium Plus or anything anything like that. 1.5,000% profit is crazy. But look, I haven't been sweating this mod or anything, but look how many flips I have. This kind of dropped in price because I didn't sell it, but it's profit. Wheel of Fate, usually 13 mil, profit. Gouache chest plate, bought for 2.6, can sell for like 13.5, profit. Koffel right here tells me the lowest buy now should be around 25 mil, 6 mil profit. Molten bracelet, 4 mil profit. Mole necklace, some more profit. Aurora chest plate, profit I think. Wait, mana regeneration vitality? That reminds me of something. Profit, 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 You get the idea, right? I mean, just look at this. Level 81 elephant with an EXP share. Level 1 elephants go for like 19 to 20 mil, and I bought this one, a level 81 one, for 18 mil. Same with this, wither leggings. Not only is it lower than a clean wither legging, but it has growth of 6, which costs like 8 million coins. And then this as well, which is like... 2 mil profit. Profit is profit, guys. And like I said, I'm not even using a good config or premium plus. Because when you do that, it gets crazy. But that's for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Join the Discord link in the description if you need help with anything at all, and I'll be sure to help you. And make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and also like the video. Peace out.